To restore an image to a disk image is a great way to be able to um, verify that the image was taken correctly and also to do some operations on it. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to use SD Clone 3 to do it. So I'll open up SD Clone 3 and you can see I've already created an image um, of uh, an SD card that had a bunch of uh, Raspberry Pi. Um, I had configured it on my Raspberry Pi with all the, the, the different configurations that I wanted. So I took an image of it. Um, so I'll select that image. You can see that an option for a destination is restore to disk image. I could insert an SD card and restore to that, but for this one, I want to do some operations on it, and it's a lot faster to restore to a disk image than it is to restore it to an SD card. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll uh, select restore to disk image and select the restore to disk image operations. I'll authenticate because it's a privileged operation. And it's going to ask me where to want to save the disk image. So I'll call this Raspberry Pi 3 Restore uh, Disk Image. And I'll save it. So it's going to go ahead and create that image, uh, the same size as what the image is, 7.97 gigabytes, and it's going to restore to it. You can see that it's very fast because it's going from an SSD, uh, basically an image that's stored as data on my SSD on my Mac, to a disk image, which is again stored on the SSD. So you can see that it's, uh, it's going very, very quickly. All right, now it's completed and it's restored that Raspberry Pi 3 image to this uh, disk image. So if we look in the finder on our computer, you can see that it is actually had the disk image and it's mounted um, the uh, FAT32 partition. There's actually a Linux extended uh, partition as well on there that uh, OS X is not mounted. Um, but you can see that it's been uh, mounted and I'm able to uh, do operations on this device.